Garling House's big plans, XRP talk, along with great news happening tomorrow, or today if you're watching the video late, record-breaking movement in crypto and stocks. Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Happy hump day, Crypto Web 3 fans. I got great news for you. Real quick though, would you rather see heat map in the beginning of the videos or crypto bubbles? Let me know down below. But before we get into that, that's right, your comments come first. Hot, spicy, naughty, relevant. Maybe I'll share it in the next one. I'm also pulling comments from Twitter. My Twitter information's linked down below. We get a little naughty on there. Buster Douglas says... I agree with what you said on YouTube. We weren't going to win this and we shouldn't put anything into fights that we can't win. Deaton was never going to win. Yeah, we all wish Deaton would win, but the thing was he didn't have a chance in hell and so all that money that was donated to his campaign, what did it go for? It didn't go for shit. There were other people out there that had a better chance. R. Schmidt, some channel support, thank you very much. And thank you everyone for joining me on the live stream yesterday. That was a lot of fun. You want to know what my response was to the rectum? That's right. I was on Twitter. I told you. It's linked down below. I keep telling everyone. So what I said to the rectum. Weren't you the one saying Deaton will win easily? You are what's wrong with this space. Promoting hopium with no real backing. Giving people false hope is you use them for views and mislead them. Way to go, rectum. Let's do this. Let's look at some bubbles. And let's get to the heat map. Bitcoin sitting at 75,025. Well, he's at 2675. BNB at 586. XRP at 53.5. Sold 186. Sold at 200. Anyone got any action on that? So we is coming back, making some big moves here at 226. Casp is starting to go in the green as well, but it pulled back quite a bit here over the last several weeks. What's big? Well, we've got pretty much. 100% chance that we're getting a 25 basis point cut tomorrow. We're going to be live streaming this, so make sure you hit the notification bell along with the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Yeah, chat is always lit. And what's great about this is we're going to be getting more and more meetings like this where we're going to be getting rate cuts. And as rate cuts start coming down, 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 it makes the market go up, up, up. You know what else makes the market go up, up, up? When we start dealing with things that are relevant to the economy, relevant to crypto, U.S. stocks, dollar, dollar, BTC and alt surge as Trump defeats Kamala Harris in the race. Record breaking numbers, big action here, a lot of money. I told you, I told you a lot of money was going to be put on the sideline because this side was so different than that side. And they wanted to see who was going to win before they started putting their money in the markets. And listen to this. The U.S. S&P and NASDAQ futures jump more than 2%. Small cap rustled, which is the risky stuff like crypto, but of the stock market, soared 6%. Dollar index rallied 1.4% and was its best day since March of 2023. The Dow added more than 1,250 points. Russell 2000 as well going up big. BTC pumped to 75 plus thousand and is now right back up there at 6% last 24 hours. The markets and finances were obviously waiting for a Trump win. You're going to see massive amounts of money flowing into the markets for a while now. How much money is going to flow? How about record-breaking money? Listen to this. This is all good news today. Seriously, hit the subscribe button because this is a good news day. Now, I get it. I get it. I get it. Some people are upset that Trump won because it's not all about economy. It's not all about crypto. I get that, but this is a crypto central economy central channel. So that's the way we lean here. BlackRock's BTC ETF seeing crazy trading volume. Oh man. According to Eric Balchunas, iShares Bitcoin Trust managed to record 1 billion worth of trading volume in just 20 minutes. Just 20 minutes on October 29th. IBIT traded roughly 3.3 billion worth. That was just in one day. 1 billion worth in 20 minutes of trading. Not saying that it's guaranteed, but I'm a fan of patterns, and this fits the pattern. That's what Balchuna said. Other ETFs are seeing significant trading volumes as well, and we've seen it actually in the crypto markets here. Volume has heavily gone up. Heavily, heavily gone up. In fact, look at this. 24-hour volume right now is up 128%. I kept telling everyone, 
Money's parked on the sidelines, and as soon as we know what direction we're going to go, that the money's going to know which direction they want to go. And boom, there you go. Massive explosion in volume. Love seeing it. Now let's get to Brad's plan. This Brad said to Trump, Congratulations, some fodder for your first 100-day checklist to get things going. Fire Gary Gensler, day one, no delays. Or does Gary resign before Trumpito takes office? In his place... Uh, point Giancarlo Brooks or Gallagher, they'd be massive upgrades in rebuilding the rule of law and reputation at the SEC. Host a family dinner and get the R's and D's moving in the digital asset market structure bill forward in the Senate. Yeah, waiting to see what happens with the House. But if you get House, Senate, and presidency all controlled by the Republicans, they will be able to squeeze anything through without a concern which means crypto regs and last but not least can we get some clarity similar to xrp and btc that eth is not a security that's kind of a little joke joke right there brad also went out to said to anyone who doubted it the crypto vote is here to stay loud and clear truly amazing to see champions like bernie moreno richie torres uh gillibrand and uh representative andy bar get the w's with this election it wasn't so much the crypto vote it was the economy vote and that crypto segment was part of that economy. Now, we learned that the crypto vote, like, as a sole, like, reason for voting was not there. It was based on economy, national security, it was women's rights, and then it was democracy. And I believe those were the top four. Crypto was not in there, okay? So it's a little bit of a reach from Brad here saying that the crypto vote is what swayed this. No. What swayed this was people thinking shit has been way too expensive for four years. We cannot manage this increase for the next four. Now, crypto falls into that. Why? Because you can't buy crypto if all of a sudden you're spending tons of money on groceries and retail is fueled by crypto. Retail now is also getting some fuel from what, everyone? Traditional finance. Yeah. One billion worth of volume in 20 minutes of trading. So Garlinghouse pointing out the winners right there that made it happen. Some crypto bros and chicks out there got elected and re-elected. So there's Brad's plan. Now let's get on over to XRP Price where the volume is up big time. Price Price, look, when the announcement came out, got up and we got up and we started touching that 54 cent range, right? But the thing was, we got rejected at that 54 cent range. And let's do this. Let's zoom in a little bit on these candlesticks and look at that 15 minute view and see actually where we did get rejected. And we're looking at it right here. Dual candlesticks, only an hour apart. Rejection at 54.28. 54.28. There you go. So right now we're seeing the resistance there, but this is way early. You're going to have markets rally for quite some time. And remember... Jerome Powell and the Fed is coming out tomorrow, live stream. 100% chance that we're going to get 25 basis point cut. And then guess what? That sets up another cut for the contract on the 18th of December. So if you're into a laggard out there, and XRP has definitely been a laggard, well, guess what? A rising tide floats all ships. And you know what floats all ships? Economic news, which leads to booming, booming, juicy money. Regs, yes, we need those in the crypto space. Getting rid of Gary Gensler, yes. Rates coming down, yes. Clarity for crypto because we could pass those regs through the House, the Senate, and get approval from presidency, yes, yes, and yes. This is a good day, everyone. Are, are we wishing that XRP would get more price action? Yeah, of course. Of course we would. I'd have a heck of a lot more views if XRP price was actually doing something really juicy. But we'll take this. We've been hanging out in the slums at 50 cents. I think the market can move even further with Jerome Powell's announcement tomorrow, especially if he paves the roads for future cuts and is optimistic about it. We don't want to cautious Jerome Powell, but hey, today's a good day as the bubbles are green, the heat map's green, Gary G's days are limited. Crypto is moving, volume is exploding, a bunch of pro-crypto people did get the election, this is awesome, XRP's up a little bit, we wish it was up more. So what's your vibes on all this? And, and be honest with me here, because I know some of you watching are upset with how the election went, but you're happy though that the markets in crypto are roaring from this. And, and seriously, feel feel confident that you're not going to get picked on. Uh, there's not an echo chamber here. I like when people disagree with me. I really want to hear from you. 
How do you feel about how the election went? How do you feel being outside of the United States, seeing how the election went and how it's directly affecting crypto prices and the bullish momentum of crypto and stocks right now? You cannot deny that money has been parked on the sidelines for a long time. And I told you all this. I said, when you get these elections where these two sides are so different each other on how they approach things, right? Whether it's politically, socially, right? With their economics, right? Taxation, all that. When they're so different, big money just sits on the sidelines because big money's like, yo, I, I could sit out the risk for a month or two and find out who wins the election. Big money doesn't always have to, to buy at the bottom and sell at the top. No, big money can make money along the way because it's big money. And that's what happened. One billion in volume for BlackRock's IBIT, BTC ETF in the first 20 minutes. One billion in volume that is telling you that that big money now feels confident and wants to get in and see some optimism looking forward in the markets now i understand people are going to be bummed out because you know there's going to be some social expectations you know if you get all three controlled i understand that but again this is a crypto channel i want to just keep everything within that crypto and economic realm but if this means we're going to get some better action when it comes to inflation if this means we're going to get better action when it comes to taxation, if this means we're going to get better action with big money from the sidelines rolling in, well, then, yeah, I think we'll all take it, right? Because think about it. You feel better when all of a sudden you're seeing your holdings up 5%, 10%, 15 20 and you go back on your phone and you're like, well, how do I look compared to three months ago? Oh, I'm up 30% from three months ago. You're like, oh, okay, this is awesome. Yeah, it's, you're seeing it. You're seeing the optimism not only in the United States markets, but in markets globally since the election. So let me know how you feel down below. Me? I'm going to stretch today. Do a little mobility because I can barely walk. I'm standing a little bit better today, but that's because I've been icing my feet. Race time. Yeah, I did it. I did 100K. See? Yeah, 100K finisher. That's me. So yeah, I'm going to be icing, doing some stretching, and of course I'm also going to be doing some choo-choo bitches.